All right, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Kin Stretch. Here's what we're gonna do today. We're working low chain. We wanna get those knees feeling good. We wanna get those hips feeling good for all you people who, uh, I don't know, walk around. Um, so let's start with our cars. And we're gonna go through full cars. You'll need two dowels. I mean, you can get away with one dowel if you want. You're gonna need like a bench of some sort. You can use a chair, you can use your um, uh, couch, whatever you need, and then like a, a pad. So towel. Uh, folded up works well if you don't have an actual pad. Um, so let's start. Uh, we're going to do standing hip cars. Um, and I want to do just, just low chain today. Um, uh, because you know, to save time. All right. So let's uh, come into irradiation and I want you to push that foot out externally, that leg out externally rotate, then bring the foot across the midline of the body, draw the knee straight up, open and internal rotate, kick back and park the knees right side by side kick back open 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 and down there's one rep bring it open around right back down and try to flex the glute that isn't moving around flex that that bottom leg also there's two open open, open. and there's three now let's go with the knee capsule here so i'm going to turn backwards so you can see what's going on here flexion External rotation, external rotation, extension, internal rotation, flexion, external extension, internal flexion. It's all pretty basic stuff. Internal flexion, external extension. Now keep that external rotation, flexion, internal rotation, extension, external flexion, internal extension, external flexion, internal and extension. Perfect. Now let's work down to the ankle. Right side ankle, just give a little bend in the knee so you've got a free movement of that ankle. And give me five rolls clockwise and five rolls counterclockwise. Large as you can go. Three, two, one. Perfect. All right. Right side's good to go. Ugh. Now let's go left side. I realize it's going to be shadow on me, but you need to see my legs only, so that's fine. All right. So push my dowels into the ground. I've got... I'm going to kick my leg out into a little bit of flexion, externally rotate, then bring that leg across the midline of the body. So we're out, externally rotate, cross the midline of the body, bring it up, 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 open, 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 internally rotate and extend, park the knee, kick it back out, right back down, one, bring it up, around, open, and down, two, kick it back. Uh, up and around. Remember, it's just warm up speed, warm up tension, and up around, and right back down. Ah, beautiful. All right. So, knees are next. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bend the knee just a tad. I'm gonna internally, externally rotate. Find that tibial play, and I'm going to. I'll start with internal rotation on this left knee. I'm gonna come to flexion as much as possible. Then try to get that, hide the calf, uh, hide the hamstring with the calf, externally rotate and extend, internally rotate, flex, external and extend, internal and flex, external, extend. Now keep that external rotation, go back into flexion, externally rotate, I'm sorry, internally rotate and then extend, external, flexion, internal, extension, external, Flexion, internal extension, external flexion. One more time, internal extension, beautiful. All right, knee comes up, make some room for that ankle to work, and search your five rolls each side. One, two, three, four, and five. And one, two, three, four, and five. And there we go. All right, so let's get into our first position here. I'm gonna start with my left leg down today. I'm gonna to put my foot up on this bench. Ugh, I'm gonna drop it straight down. And what we're gonna do, we got some pales rails. You know them, you love them. If this is not your first kin stretch class, then you know exactly what's happening here. So get into this position. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> One more time, there we go. So get into this position with your, your toes over the edge of the bench, your knees straight down. And I want you to get as close as possible to that bench um, by 
moving your hips back. And you're going to find a pretty healthy stretch in the, uh, in the quad here. And now we play the waiting game. We're getting to the end of two minutes. We've got about 30 seconds uh, passed already. And what we're looking for is that two minute mark of the passive stretch reflex to um, allow us, that will allow us to work into a deeper range of that tissue, right? So we're just, it's, it's a really long way of saying that we're getting deeper into the tissues and we're creating lasting change in the length of those tissues. Okay. Okay, so that's a minute. One thing I want you to do is scan your stretch. You don't have to. You don't have to stay in one position. Figure out, uh, like this is the first one. Your legs might be tight from I don't know life and um, this is the first one of the day. Um, so it's it's gonna be. It might be a little impatient with you. Um, uh, try your best to be patient with it, with that leg, with that quadricep, because we're gonna be opening up space in the knee. Um, we got thirty seconds, and then we start our pails reels. So open up space in the knee and the hip, I should say. So our pails effort, effort is progressive angular isometric load. Our pails is going to be driving the foot into this bench back here, driving it down. Our rails effort is going to be the regressive angular load, and trying to pull the heel towards the hip. Um, we've, got, uh, we've got three of those on each side. Um, and then we're going to do some isometric holds, and then we're going to do some other stuff that's going to be super duper fun. Okay, but for now, first set, grab that air, pack it down, <sighs> irradiate, create systemic tension, push that foot into the ground, 20% of your power. <sighs> Scrape that right foot back to the uh, the towards your hips to create that whole tension, ramp it up to 40% of your power. <sighs> ramp it up to 60%. So everything's on here, pushing that foot into the bench, ramp it up to 80%. Safest, greatest effort, 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it, try to squeeze your heel to your hip as hard as you can for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Beautiful. Now, if you get a little crampy there, that's fine. Just, um, you know, roll through it. If you, if you have to come out of that stretch, then please go right back into it um, uh, so that we can we can get that time under tension, right? We're just chilling right now. First set's done. Second set starts in. <sighs> well, second set starts right now. Okie dokie, artichokey. Grab that air. <clears throat> Pack it down. <sighs> Dowels into the ground. Here we go. <clears throat> Scrape that right foot back. You can see everything kind of turns on and systemic tension. Irradiate 20% of your power into that bench. Push that left foot into the bench. Ramp it up to 40% of your power. Push the dowels into the ground. <sighs> Ramp it up to 60%. <sighs> Ramp it up to 80%. <clears throat> Safest, greatest effort, 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it. Heel to the hip. Heel to the hip for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Nice work. Heck yeah. Two sets down. Just one to go. That's what's up, people. Just breathe. Work to the best of your abilities. Oh, feeling some new ranges there. Yeah, hi. Remember, if you want to scan the stretch and explore a little bit different angles, that's fine. Just make sure you're working to the end of your abilities, my friends. Okay, grab that air. Pack it down. You radiate and 20% of your power. Into the ground. Or into the bench, excuse me, 40%. Scraping that right foot back, 60%. Ramp it up to 80%, driving the dowels down, scraping that back foot down. Safest, greatest effort, 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, and rail it. Squeeze the heel to the hip. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Beautiful. Just chill in this angle. Breathe. 5, 4, 3, till we come out. 2, till we come out. 1, and push down. Oh, yes. Hello. Very nice job. Let's do a, a set of cars on the left side to upload all that new space that we just created. Hello. Into uh, that central nervous system. Teach your body that it's in a good spot here. Uh, look at all this space we just made. Give me three reps. Uh, whew. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> And perfect. That one's done. Okay. Now let's move uh, onto that right side. So now you can kind of see what's going on a little bit better. Um, because we've got the front facing leg going towards the camera. But we're going to do the exact same thing that we did before. Sun's a little higher. So I'm going to be a little squinty. Um, but let's just follow along. I'm going to start that timer. That was about six minutes. Six minutes on one side. Six minutes of very, very active stretching. Whew. Okay. We're just hanging out. Just breathing. Tell me about your day. How are you? Feeling good? Feeling rested? Feeling a little tight? It's uh, Wednesday's Ken Stretch Day. This is when my I wake up and I in the morning and I'm usually like a little like, oh, man, I can kind of feel the week creeping up on me. So I have to really, really focus on recovery strategies. Uh, making sure that I have fuel in my body. With, I mean, every day. Trying to, trying to fuel your body with the cleanest possible ingredients. Um, prioritize sleep. Um, because if I don't, oof, man, I'm not present for my family. I'm not present for my team. I'm um, not present for the people that depend on me. Um, and that's just not how I want to be. So it cascades one way or the other. If you make smart decisions, take care of yourself. Once again, prioritize your sleep, your nutrition, how you're training, how you're uh, uh, available for those that that uh, that need you. Then uh, you can climb up that mountain, or or if you um, you know go the other way, then you slide down. It's a much harder harder uh, climb out. So it's you decide, you decide. But if you're here with me, if I'm here with you, whichever way you want to look at that coin, then we're probably getting better together, aren't we? You got. We've got about 30 seconds, and then we're going to start that whole process that we just did on the left leg. We're going to start on the right leg. So there you go. <coughs> Big breaths in. Full exhale. 15 seconds. Situate yourself at the end of that stretch, at the end of your range of the stretch, I should say. And here we go. Grab the air, pack it down. 20% of your power. Mm, Radiate. Scrape that left foot back, pushing the right foot into the bench. Mm. Ramp it up to 40%. Ramp it up to 60%. Ramp it up to 80%. Safest, greatest effort 100% for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now rail it, heel to the hip as hard as you can. Squeeze that butt, squeeze your foot. Get as close to your butt as possible. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. One thing that really, so just breathe, nice deep breaths. One thing that really helps me on my rails effort, which is getting your heel to your hip, is to really focus on trying to scrape this foot back harder and squeeze the feet together close the distance between the feet that's one thing i find really really helps me um so there you have that now uh okay set number two here we go grab that air packet down and you radiate 20 percent of your power into that bench driving the dallas down 40 percent of your power squeeze remember scrape that left heel back also ramp it up to 60 percent of your power Ramp it up to 80% of your power. 
safest greatest effort 100 percent for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 now rail it heel to the hip squeeze squeeze reverse that tension eight seven six five four three two one and relax and breathe and just like that two sets are down we got one more and there you go Whew. yeah just breathe and call it two more big breaths One more big breath. And here we go. Grab that air, pack it down. You radiate 20% of your power into that bench. 40% of your power. Driving the foot down into the bench, driving the dowels down, scraping that left foot back. Ramp it up to 60% of your power. Ramp it up to 80%. Safest, greatest effort, 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it. Squeeze the heel to the hip as hard as you can. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, and just breathe. Nice and easy. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Use your dowels, push down into the ground. Oh, out of that stretch. Let's enjoy our, whew, our newfound range that we've created in our legs. Oh, let's get a set of cars. Irradiate, take that leg forward, externally root. Okay, you have to cross, up, around, and down, back. <laughs> One, biggest circle possible that you can make with your knee <sighs> without involving your hips too much. Squeeze the left glute to keep the hips stationary. <clears throat> Two, <clears throat> boom, three, very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, so here is what oh, we're gonna do now. So you're gonna come down back onto your pad and what I want you to do is we're going to do some isometrics here. So you're just in this comfy position, right? And what I want you to do is you're going to take your foot. You get your dowels again. You're going to take this. We're going to work with the left foot, the left hamstring. The action is going to be scraping back, okay? And what I want you to do is we're going to isometrically ramp the tension up into our hamstrings. That's, that's basically it. So we're going to iso ramp and then we're going to stretch stretch it out and do an axial rotation. So I want you to find 90 degrees and you're not going to see much happen here, but we're going to start with, I want you to drive down. Let me just use, I'll put this dowel down so I can point. You're going to drive down into the ground and then scrape back, scrape that foot back 20% of your power. Drive down and back, ramp it up to 40% of your power, 60% of your power. 80% of your power. <clears throat> Safest, greatest effort, 100% of your power for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax it. Lengthen it out and stretch. Let's see what I'm doing right here. So I'm going to get both my dowels again since you kind of know what's going on here. So I'm lengthening this out. And I want you to rotate. You know this one. You love this one. Little toes to the ground. Big toes to the ground. That's one. Little toes to the ground. Big toes to the ground. Two. Little toes. Big toes. Three. Little toes. Big toes. Four. Little toes. Big toes. Five. Little toes. Six. Seven, eight, nine, oh, and ten. Very nice job. Good stuff. Okay, let's do that again. All right, we've got three of these. Okay, ISO ramping that tension up. So now that you know what's going on, 
I'm going to just point with my dowel here, but if you've got two dowels, I'd like you to create tension with both of them, okay? So we've got we're driving down and then scraping back like this, but the foot's not moving. So let's go 20% of our power, driving down, scraping back. Squeeze everything back here. The, your, the rest of your body's not on vacation. We're working. So squeeze your butt. Think about squeezing the, the right knee together with the left. I got this again. Just point with my hand. Squeezing this together. 20% of your power. Everything's on. 40%. 60%. 80%. Save your greatest effort. 100% for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax it. Lengthen it. Hinge forward so you've got a healthy hamstring stretch. Little big toes down. Little toes down. One. Big toes down, little toes down, two. Big toes down, big toes down, three. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah. I'm going to change the angle just a tad. I'm going to go from this relatively right angle, turn so you can see it better, and I'm going to make it a little bit longer. I'm going to lengthen that hamstring just a tad, and you find you can leave it at your whatever angle works for you. I'm going to lengthen mine out just a bit because I want to I want to tease out more strength at length from my uh, my left hamstring in particular. Okay, so you find what angle works best for you. Last set of ISO ramping. Here we go. And same movement, pushing down, trying to scrape back. 20% of your power. 40%. 60%. 80%. as greatest effort. 100% for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Very nice. Lengthen it out. Stretch. Little toes to the ground. Big toes. One. Little toes. Big toes. Two. Little toes. Big toes. Three. Little toes. Big toes. Four. Little toes. Big toes. Five. Little toes. Big toes. Six. Little, seven, eight, nine, and uh, ten. Heck yeah. All right, switch it up. Change that pad around. Uh, Find your right angle. I'm going to start at a right angle. Um, you can start wherever you want, but I just like this angle because I feel like I've got most amount of control over my hamstring. So driving in with the dowels, squeezing glutes, and driving down with that right heel and scraping back, ramping up 10 to 20% of your power. It's all hamstring and glutes, 40%. Both glutes, focus on that right hamstring though, 60%. Eighty percent. Save your greatest effort. One hundred percent for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Lengthen it out. Uh, find that hamstring stretch. External to internal. External to internal. Externally rotate. Internal. Four, four, five, five, six, six, a little tighter over here, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Heck yeah. Right, set number two. Brother there, pack it down. Boots on, hips in extension. Here we go. Driving that foot down and back, right foot down and back. Squeeze 20% of your power. 40% of your power. 60%. 80%. 70%. 80%. 
80%. Save a squared to separate 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax it. Extend it. Link those tissues out. Externally rotate. Internally rotate. External. Internal. External. Internal. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And... Ten. Beautiful. All right. One more time. Grab that air. Pack it down. Irradiate. 20% of your power. Scraping that heel back. Squeeze your left butt cheek. 40% of your power. Sixty percent. Eighty percent. Safest, greatest effort. One hundred percent for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Beautiful. Lengthen it out. Extend. Little toes down to the ground. Big toes for one. Little toes. Big toes for two. Little toes. Big toes for three. Little toes. Big toes for four. Little toes. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. You to full work. All right, we got a set of cars. Let's work from the ankles up. Right leg. Internal rotate five times. Just like loading all that stuff. We didn't do too much angle work today, um, but we want to get get those joints some love because they do a lot for us. And this is what we're closing down with. We'll do our cars and we'll do our breath work. And then you're free to go be awesome, okay? Knee comes up. Find that tibial play. Eh, eh, eh. Flexion. Externally rotate, extension, internally rotate, flexion, extension, flexion. One more time, extension. Keep that foot externally rotated. Go to flexion, internal, extension, rotate, flexion, internal, extension, rotate, flexion, extension. Perfect. We go with the hip. Get this bad out of here. With the hip, we come into a little bit of flexion from the hip. Externally rotate. Cross the midline of the body, bring it up, around, in, and down. Perfect. There's two. Up, around, in, and kick it back, and there is three. Beautiful. All right. Right side's done. Let's get the calf on the, uh, the ankle on the left side. I'm going to start with external rotation. Two, three, four, five, one. Biggest circle you can. Two, three, four, five. And let's go flexion to the knee. Flexion. Externally rotate. Extend. Internally rotate. Flex. Externally rotate. Extend. Flex. Externally extend. Flex. Externally rotate. Extend. Now keep that angle of the foot. Go into flexion. Ex to internally rotate, excuse me, and extend, externally rotate, flex, external, extend, external, flex, internal, extend, one more time, flex, internal, extend, and the knee is done. Now, left hip, externally rotate, uh, flexion, excuse me, then externally rotate, bring it across the midline of the body, bring it up, and out, in, and down. You'll kick back, biggest circle possible with that knee. Knee draws straight up. Bring it around and down. There's two. One more time. Bring it up. And you are done with the hard part. Okie dokie. Oh, let's take a seat. 
a lot of intense, intentional, I guess it's kind of the same word, intentional interior work on the interior from the joints out. That's the whole point of Ken stretch is to get uh, control of yourself, right? So you can get more range. All right, let's end with 10 day, big deep breaths. Just get in a comfy position, spine nice and tall. Remember we're filling the tops, bottoms, fronts and backs of your lungs up as best we can. Eyes open, eyes closed. Whatever you feel is right for you. The last breath we're gonna go hold. Beautiful work. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for the effort that you put into making yourselves better. Today's Wednesday. That means Friday. We'll see you for burn. All right. Have a great day. Peace.